we go. This is the actual intention of the hit, but it's a double stack on Shaw. Pit and Artis will be over on this side, but a bit of a miss from Pit, and now you're going to see them in a bit of bother. But the rotations are on the way. Artis good for one towards Hoppy. Could do with another, may not get it here, but again, this is going to get a little painful. Location is revealed. They now know what's going on. Spike to be planted, but the retakes here. They weren't able to get past Shaw quick enough, and here comes the rest of the G2 army flying in. Artis, no fun for you today, Logan. You get Artis to handle. Uh, again, very characteristic of G to shed some light. It's removing the door. Again, it, it, it kind of requires Diffuse to invest one more piece of utility. To deal with the angles. Mixor so actually going to get traded out by Hoppy here in B main. Looking for kill outside. I think we'll throw down the slow. So that's going to give the information over. There's one more player stack close at least. And actually Patatech going to come and join Zeke. Then maybe going to try and clear this out. Reaggress to this. I don't think it's going to be as surprising as they'd imagine, but Zeke is actually left. good for one, at least towards Hoppy. Oh my god, he's good for another. Logan left red faced and just absolutely no clue for Akuma, just gets completely overwhelmed. And Takas, this would have been a lovely late lurk middle if he'd have got past Pit, but by now, this position's being considered. You can see Artis already positioning for this one. Dead door gets shut. No problem there, gives away the game. Information game is perfectly placed in G2's hand. Up for the fight, oh my okay. god. But Pit just needs to live. Pit, Pit, oh, Pit. oh my god, what are you doing, Pit? Okay, um. Educated guess where you are, but you don't know where that player is. But being open like that towards CT is dangerous. Um, as said though, for now, Pit under pressure, gonna be good at least for one here. This is not a full purchase coming out, of course, from the attacking side. It's bits and pieces, frenzies and odds and ends, maybe a spectre or two, but this is comfy for G2. Nicely done, flawless, barely a worry in their mind. Star, now the short presence for Rodan. Could be big. Now that's not Mixwell, so he's gotta know there's another and he does, but he loses the fight. Good trades, but better for G2 again. Yeah, the setup there. Huge, you're absolutely right. The second player noted for sure. Hoppy actually going to find Mixwell, but Ardis again stacked up for that trade. Logan going to give away a little audio cue to Patitech there, but once again finds himself last man standing, spiked down left. in A main. 30 seconds, you hear it called out. He's got to get something done. He's got to find a kill really quickly if he wants to make this happen. He will find Ardis here. But definitely a possibility for him to get the spike. I got this Not an awful lot of time to check all these angles he has to worry about. The cross is the problem. And that's going to help out. Okay, here we go. Like this. Pops it all down. Why not? But you can see they're dying to get involved. Pit. Okay. Oh, Pit. Stop this push potentially. Oh, look at that. The trap wire behind Jen is perfect for Pit to find that first kill with the wall bang. Really nice. We get the okay. spike down just yet. Go. Actually, Pitt's going to find Hoppy in hell as well, so... There's <laughs> <laughs> some cheesy kills coming through from G2 to make it as easy as possible. Oh, look at this! The timing on the playback in as well. The work from Omen just completely removes vision. It's so well done. And again, this is just kind of like small, not necessarily even set pieces, but just good synergy. Just calling it in as soon as Omen gets into action. You saw that just full faith from how they need to kind of work into it quickly, get into better post plants, disallow any of this kind of nonsense from G2, like Pitt's doing to him again. That's, was it three wall bangs now working out perfectly for him? So Rodan being the absolute rat he is, sitting on down in the corner. Zeke's already found Logan though. That's a bit of an issue now going forward. You've lost one of your... Your heavy hitters out there. Heavyweight going down. Artis on the split through. Just a nice little kind of shoulder peek in. But there's a shot in the back of the head. Takas now reveals his position. Patitek, where was the call? Apparently it doesn't matter. Patitek, what? what? Okay, and now Roden called in a trap. A 12 HP. Diffuse being sat. It's done for him. No. It's done him dirty. Hmm. See how stacked out B's been? They've got three players, almost four with Ardis included. Has it a wallbang getting traded back and forth? Patatech will One find two Mixwell eight. on the third, and Patatech will find everything else. And I was going to say in the previous round, start around by Diffuse. Looking for another A here. Pat will find Logan elsewhere. That's the lurk over on B main. But again, with all this presence shown, they know that is a lurk. You see Zeke already going to explore that. Pit, the freest kill ever onto Rodin will get traded out here, but Ard is still close enough by to potentially stop Spike going down. I 
obviously TP'd onto site there. Mm. No charges left. Okay. Well, I found room to at least get a pick for Takas. But ain't no one moving. Oh, this. I'm gonna look down. Res does come in. Alt is popped, and here we go. Spike now planted. At least puts the time against G2 to make a move on this Rodent's found mix. Well, okay, we've got a bit of a game now. A bit of a round this time, but Ardis going to force at least Roden out of that position towards heaven, but he's going to play it back through. Smoke comes in, gives him a wider swing towards this one. Spots out one towards short, takes him down. Patatek in tow, and there it is. The G2 vice grip just crunching down on Diffuse. This has to be huge from Roden. One v one now emerges. This is perfect. He's now shoulder peaked. Did great work. Doubles down, and Zeke goes down. Roden makes it look style. I do believe it's it's near on impossible to do it. Roden's making a good argument to at least put up some numbers here. That op's certainly looking good in his hand. Paditek expects a swing from Mane. He was right to feel as such, but it's Logan. And Logan will outdo him with a, a touch of HP left in this. And now a 3v4. So Spike to be planted. And that late th lurk through mid should keep their eyes focused on what's in front of them. But Mixwell's right there, but Roden's the one to find artists. And this is good. Pretty nice work in the end between Logan and... Roden. I hate their names together. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's not a good score, I know. But it's not an impossible one to overtake. However, it needs to start with Pistol Round to be going their way. For the economy build-up, for the ability to at least have a buffer. Now, the issue is they've, they've completely absconded from fighting on B after that initial pick has gone down. So this is a free take for G2. This will be a straight up postured retake now coming out. We have to see if that looks dangerous by any means. I, I get a little scared because Panatek's feeling that he's got room and he does, right? He can play into this a dirty little angle to be played with now. Not something they traditionally check on. Oh, now they're going to have to. Yeah, gives it away. Akuma, nice. great nice. work from him. Going through those protocols and staying clean on this. Information now to be gone though by Ardis. Hello. Uh, spots out one towards that CT side. They know at least one was coming through that connector as well. So G2 have good information, but they're going to get a good fight as well. Like Isolated fights for good trades. Pit they're going to keep things looking likely in a 3v2. They'll join Jet left alive. I see Ellie got the opportunity off that recon bolt to get a few more tags onto Roden and Logan. Oh, it's going to come down lane. Actually, Pit going to find one. Arliss finds the second D2 clean up the pistol round in the second half. And put oh, B popping out the ultimate. Let's see if they survive this. And already Mixwell tries to dive in, but it's artists to do work. And there's the trade outs coming through. Zeke does become at least the last man standing towards the site itself. They are going to lose players in the process, however. Spike to be planted. And let's look at what the post plant could be. A 3v3, of course. Spike Two planted. through heaven for now. And one through short. Road are going to find Nardis on the way in here next to Jen. Zeke going to trade that one out as he swings. A 2v2 now, though. Zeke going to find the last two headshots onto Akuma. All five outside B main here. Going to go for a fast hit, potentially. Now look, people doubted the Guardian purchase until this round happened, right? This, this one guy called Logan. He was playing up against G2. Now, he lost out on Roden at the start, right? But this is where everyone got interested. They're like, wait, was that a god? Ooh, I've lied, I've lied. This I can't even pretend. I can't even pretend. He kind of let it go a little early. It could have been a little bit more, but it's not. And G2, again, just powering through here. This is just straight up brutality. Making it look so simple. And there's anything but for Takas. It's got the spike. That's the spike. Here we go. It's death match, <laughs> ladies and gents. Out, but both players on site now have got a lot to do to stop this. They do, but they're in a decent position until then. Mixwell's just won the fight and no trade was even offered up because it was inside the smoke and finding Takas is even better. So Spike should be free to be planted. 20 HP makes it risky, but it's not impossible. And Mixwell's made it three. Mixwell is now on three kills already in this pistol round and wants a bit more. I'm not sure if he's quite in the place to find them, but we'll find out if they go towards ramp and somehow find Pit. Then maybe there's a chance. As said... Joy coming back through. One enemy remaining. I'm gonna find Logan. HP is low, but Artis is there to play catch. Gorgeous work on Mixwell. Entry frag in this one up. First contact, probably. I thought it might be the breach, but the flash forces no him away, way. but he's so blind. Explosive hit comes in. There's still the player at the back towards side. They've got to find this killjoy. And Logan attack. suddenly doesn't get checked on by Artis. That's surprising. And now he's going to really start taking away. Fully blind, keep in mind. Comes out, switches out to the classic. He's trying to make the most of this. Oh, Logan on the move. Jumps around. Zeke's right there. And now the 1v2. Where is Patatek? Straight towards middle. Okay. 
Timing could be decent, but Hoppy seems paranoid already about CT. You have Takas looking towards that top heaven side. Spike is on the side, so it has to be picked up. 50 seconds, though. That's pretty long to be working with here. This wall as well. Actually separating the two players at a few. So Patek going to be able to find this 1v1 clean. But Hoppy Phew. will hold the line. Only two survive. We'll have to keep an eye on. They're going to have to account for it. Pit now has to be held accountable to that sort of area. Rifle to be exchanged through. So Phantom now kept towards the next player's hands. This has definitely slowed things down. They're going to have to kind of retake that map control they once had. It looks like they're still sticking out this side. They've, they've very much committed towards this. I don't know if maybe there's a sound bait coming out from Pitt at this point. I'd be curious to see what he's doing over there, if he's trying to keep their attention. There's three players dedicated towards this, but Mixwell can't make it across to that. Takas holding a very fine line, but it's a good one. Patatek on the trade, though. That opens up a chance. Timing's everything now. Those rotations left. are coming in. Now, is there a TP available? Or I'm just looking towards Pitt as to what the plan is. Is he trying to be the bait? Is this trying to be the double fake? It is it a is. double fake. That's quite that's quite nice. But the thing is, it's a 2v4 though. That's the bigger problem. They can still split their resources so easily. Yeah, 10 seconds left. They're going to have to Ten seconds left. decide to give this one up and Last save through. As I say that, uh, Pat going to fall there and Odin finds the Bulldog headshot. Pit now stuck in ropes. Save this Phantom through to the next round. I mean, it, actually there was like a two or three second window there. You're absolutely right. And in that position so badly affected. And I like that Logan's re-aggressed. They've that taken back the game. space that the ultimate garnered. That will swap out. Logan will find his third, though. Yeah, a little weird. Lightly, because keep in mind where these players are. Pouring through heaven. Takas is going to hear this now. Oh my, no, 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 no. That's a problem. This wasn't even a crossfire. This is just Takas in a great position. And G2 made to look silly coming through. Because they have to address this. Because it looks like this default's not really getting them too far. Now they have to deal with the kind of adjusted look. Because obviously Takas has that op. Now the angle favorable towards Ardis on the first shot. But you can see Takas, his shot hits a little harder. So he gets to back away, readjust around. Has a look. Oh, Paddy Tech plays right into his hands. And now does he go again? Oh! Oh, Takas! That's three! Huge work from Takas! Very good. That's see early on. Mixer trying to get very deep into garage, but his position noted. Artist now seemingly stuck here. The nade goes through. It's going to force him out of that angle as well. So, defuse once again. A fight for this garage control. Confidence. Yeah. Really confident. And again, against the lesser buyers, uh, right there. Risky to make these pushes into a close quarters. Pit and Zeke managed to get up here and actually find Roden all the way back on stairs. And they do still have control of Spike, so a couple of options for them. But Pit will fall. Zeke played that out. Very much doable here if he finds this kill onto Logan or potentially They're one of these so kills. Isolated. Yeah, potentially one of these kills in rotation was what I was going to say. If he comes back here and finds his killing ropes, it's doable for Zeke. 38 seconds left still. No. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought I was going to say, I know it was a big talk. Again, still trying to address the issue of Logan, but the issue is, of course, because he has the advantage in this. And now look at the mid aggression coming out. Diffuser getting bold. I like it. But it might just spur on G2 a little here as Mixwell does double down towards Roden and Akuma, but Logan's still there. And honest, the timing couldn't have been worse. Just. As he dropped off, he did find Logan, but it was quickly dealt with by Takas. Oh, Pip. And now, Pip, the timing, the brain work. He just heard those steps so loudly. Now, what does he do with all of this? He's going to be able to spot out that final player. Takas, full HP, keep in mind. But position noted. How does he find a way through? The bomb spike, excuse me, is on the way towards A. Should have heard potentially that sound cue, so it should be... Enough of a giveaway that this is where they both are. Good utility on Zeke as well. Really good utility on Zeke. Two flashes. Should be fine, right? Yeah, still has the aftershock as well. Ultimate, though. The ultimate coming out. Knives drawn. Zeke first up. Nice. And the angle's better. G2 make it to three. But, okay. He's gone through. Patatex found Akuma. That's pretty big. There's still one on the side to try and stop nice. them. Roden. He can't make it count. And Patatex doing real big work here. Straight through the smoke. That's a little bold, Hoppy, but I like the confidence. But Panitech is just exuding confidence right now. 
Oversteps towards Takas, but Mixwell is right there. And that's the danger. Tick is on his own. The flash comes in, Boombot comes out. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's so blind. Okay, Akuma's found him, but now it goes on towards Hoppy, I feel. Joined by the Jet on the other side. The crossfire's going to be on Hoppy initially in the swing from the Jet. So, kind of that port of call. There it is. There's a flash blind. So well done on the flash execution. And now Takis is in trouble. He has so few places to back to because of Pit on the split. And now Roden feels so alone here. And they've somehow managed to carve up Diffuse so effectively. Kind of crazy to see that one swing right back on his head after shutting down Patsatek in mail. This lurk actually. How far does Ardis go out here? He's going to re-explore mid. Once he doesn't see anything here, does he come all the way back through? Oh, he's gone for the res. Excuse me. That's going to bring it to 5v2 for G2. Akuma finds one Zeke will trade it out. Logan. Just shut down that push back from mid, but just too much to handle there. The peaks. I've heard all of this. They've got to know what's happening here, but he can't quite stop it. But he is slightly ahead of the timing, maybe? Not anymore. He's lost that benefit now. Look and see if anyone over towards those ramp side. And now with the spike planted, they're all locked in barring one. That raise could be a danger. But Artis now going to come on through. The Molotov no. goes. He's got to make the most of it, but he can't. Roden and Takas right there, ready and waiting. Mixwell with the underhand sends that down with a, you know, a little bit of a smile on the face. But a quick trade. Roden comes right back in. There is not a kill without a trade coming out right now. Diffuser desperate to hold on to this. Logan, very low HP here, so Zeke potentially could find this one, but the crossfire, perfect here, yep. There you go, the counter peak comes through, Roden will pick up his third on the round, and a big round for Diffuse on the side of Diffuse. They don't want to give this one away. Jump on board, and there we go, yep. Pat actually does get hard cleared there. Takas going to find that one. Mixwell could potentially get him. <gasps> oh. oh, that was... Uh. Let's see a split second on that one. It was, but this is exactly what we wanted from Diffuse. Five alive and try and support this in case they ex try and explore that ropes pop, which looks like Zeke's kind of posted towards. So, for now, uh, the bigger danger is is with Paditech. He has to hold back a great deal of players coming through. Akuma can either play early or late, depending on how he wants to do it. The flash is what he's going to set into motion. Jet now dashing up. It's going to be Paditech to try and greet them at the door. Zeke finds the kill, though. Takas goes down, and Akuma still trying to garner the attention. Just send in those flashes, do the damage from afar. Mixwell finds Hoppy, but Diffuser keeping up. This is still a 3v3. And two other members of G2 actually oh, on the Mixwell. way back in the spawn. Mixwell finds one. He goes down the showstopper. It doesn't do any damage at all. Roden going to clean that kill up, but there you go. Spike lost. Heaven now. 14 seconds left. What is he going to be able to do here? Is he going to commit to the plant? Left. They gave it up. We'll try and take this 2v1. This is where mistakes can happen, where those nerves can be exploited, but there's none to be shown. All in sight take. Like as well, with both players in heaven, they don't want to give away a kill. They're happy to play the 5v5 retake here. No ultimates available for G2. Showstop on the side of Diffuse. Should they choose to invest it here? Hoppy actually going to draw first blood. Patatek will fall over on ramp here. Uh, Patatek did only have that Spectre. He was working with one of the lesser weapons. So you're going to see the Guardian as well put to work. But Hoppy is biding time. Zeke puts him to bed. and Takas, where are you looking, bud? And now the three-play stack of players needs to get a wiggle on. Time's ticking. Roden's got the ult. He's just waiting. A couple more standing. seconds. He's going to have to send it at some point. Oh, oh well, he just whiffed it. And now the time. He's just got to play the time. They have none left. I don't think they can get this to fuse. No. Absolutely not. Okay. Spike should be planted safely. It is. And again, post plant 5v5. This is madness. Takas has found Artis too. And here we go. Mixwell finally finds a way back in, but... You can see these post plants are decent. They've got like half of the map to their own. This is going to be a rough retake now. To try and throw paint shells down onto main. Mixwell one away from the showstopper, so keep your eye out if he does find another kill here. We got a push comes through, Rolling Thunder invested onto this. This could be huge for Mixwell. He finds the first. Gonna get the headshot, pops the showstopper, invests it onto back side. Oh, oh take us! Oh no! Out of nowhere! Zeke! Oh! These rounds are going down to the wire, but defuse once again. You can see the reaction now coming through. Patitek starting to lean over this way. Oh, Patitek! How has he won that fight? I do not understand how Paditek just leapt in there and won the fight. 
I can't even imagine the thought process, and neither can Roding. He wants that done. He wants him dead. Logan's in there as well. G2 now down to the last three. But as are Diffuse, a 3v3 now. Spike on route. Smoke's still there, but not for long. That will dissipate soon. But Logan's waiting. Trades out again. And you can see Pit trying to drag it away. That is an excellent kill. Spike's now loose on the site, and Hoppy has to pick his poison. Does he try and walk the smoke? He knows utility's in the way. Does he just face the music? He does. And now 18 seconds. He's got a 1v1 to find. Does he know where this remaining player is? 13 seconds. Spike can be retrieved, but this is the heal. He's going to go for the walk. He's going for the walking fight. He's got the information. Zeke. Oh, Zeke outdoes him. Quick saw 25 and 16 now. This is actually crazy. Now we're going to see oh, pop. the same thing again. But, but, but look. Stopper. Hmm. Okay. All right. But if anything, this might bait them in, and there's no still way. two players to get past. Hold on. This is not over yet, but the trade's already good. Zeke going to... Oh, Takas on the fadeaway. Just gives him the buzz cut on the way through. And now, dire times in front of G2. 2v4. And this ain't the gun to be trying to tussle with already. Yeah, oh, Takas no, is having none of it. Story. Pits down to the judge. Oh, dear. Bulldog upgrade. Nice little first. Takes no damage. That's important. Flash received, though. Tries to take the fight towards Hoppy. Gets it clean as well. And now the 1v2 begins. He knows where Breach is. Does he know where Raze is? Maybe heard the sound cue. Maybe not. Neural theft and a vandal knows. upgrade. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. 22 bullets playing to play with. He's got the first fight. No he gets way. it clean. 46 HP. This could be huge for Pit. The 1v1. He's got time. He takes a second, clears a couple of corners. He's got to get moving. Spots the play. Oh, but Roden is the one. Look absolutely fine. Diligent, locked in, ready to go. We're going to find out. Diffuse will be starting out uh, with a bit of an uphill struggle, quite literally starting out kind of instigating things on the attack. And it will be G2 on the defense. And already blood's been drawn on this alien. Yeah, and actually both other members of G2 noted in terms of position from the Al drone. Ardis takes a swing onto Hoppy. Happy to still contest Showers control there. Zeke now got it all to do. Rodent's actually going to find Mixwell as well. Oh, Zeke needs to find a kill here if they have a chance to recover this round. And it actually falls apart for G2 and the pistol pit. Last man standing. A tall order, to say the least. Yeah. And not a single kill thus far as well. See how clean they can keep it? Extremely, extremely yeah. clean on the way through Rodent. Up close. Oh, the awareness is there. The awareness is very much there. Now, I wonder if Diffuse are that prepped for this. I don't know how much prep they've done into it. Again, this should be a clean round, and it is. Nicely done. Well, I mean, it should be unless Pitt does some mad stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Do you believe? Mm. In a kill. How about a kill? I believe in one, yes. I mean, give him one. It's Pitt. He's got a pistol. Okay. Pushing and pressuring this issue, whether or not they stick this, we're yet to find out. Pitt's now going to be in a spot of bother. They're going to check on it. Now that's one. That could have been two, but it's not. They're going to try and convert quick with these spe Where did he just find artists from? And now look at this kind of wrap towards you all. They wanted more, but the turnaround. This is so, so messy, but it's kind of working out for Diffuse, considering this is a 2v2 and they had no right to be in this scenario. G2 had the weaponry, but Panitech might just have the clutch. The 1v1 begins. The spike's on his side. He's predicting the rap. He's predicting the push. He's read it perfectly. But he doesn't mean he's going to survive. Roden outdoes him in the 1v1. The smoke's put down. They have adjusted towards long. He's actually going to invest the lockdown here. And two members on site, Mixwell and Zeke. Kind of holding strong for the time being. Ooh, Zeke will show that's his hand, actually. Peak? He does get out. Neither of them get detained. Yeah, but look at what this has given them. That's a plant and good post plants. That's not bad. Mixwell wants to change that so quickly. Trying to head through, gives away the game. Great utility from Logan here to ensure safety and not allow any of these cheekier plays to come through from G2. Hunter now, Fury. let's see the retake. You're right, Hunter's Fury is there. Let's keep eyes on Logan is still on the side. And he's still finding value. Finds Pit. Now, Mixwell's feeling frustrated. Too many angles now. Takas takes away Zeke. Diffuser holding this trade for Roden. Incredible stuff from Diffuse here in this post plant. And look at this. The economy has been shattered from the start, but it doesn't matter. Oh Logan does not care for your excuses. Above a minute. Wait, Takas is going on this. What? 
Takus' aggression is unfathomable to me. Just sprays in the smoke, hopes for the best, and he was pretty darn close to it. Oh my They're going to play towards elbow oh together. They're so good at playing as a team. Now, Mixwell isolates one, but instantly there's pressure on him. Takes a bit of a tag, but he's down to 39 HP. He's got support here, but they're all caught towards the same area. They're all towards that L bend, towards kind of CT side. And the spike, they're pushing closer. They are pushing up on this. Look at the post plant from the two attacking players, Breach and Brim. They are playing aggressively. Really and look map. at the flank coming in. Killjoy, say hello no to way. Logan. Dagger in the back. They've got nothing. They're feeling surrounded, pressed to the wall, diffused, just looking larger than life. Zeke does find Takas, but by now, Spike's ticking. You got more to find. Your HP is low. This would have to be a G2 miracle at this point. And Hoppy's not allowing it. He's saying, well, how's that time feeling? Have a little go on this one. And again, 7-1 now. Yeah, and just to note, I was going to say, <laughs> Mixor does escape with the operator. Hoppy. I'm going to readjust there. Mixwell trying to hold, but Roden will find Ardis in the process. Mixwell now. Got to try and find a kill to stop this push once again. He's actually going to shoot the turret. Zeke, quickly through the smoke. He gets found. Hoppy will spin on it. Defuse now, 4v3. Mixwell's still got a line. He's, he's not going to have it for long now. Panatek's dead. You're going to check it. You're, go you're going to check that. Wait, Surely what? no. Don't let Mixwell get away with this. Even he was surprised. They've dipped through on the TP, but look who's on the other side of the site. We do have Pit here playing in a very passive angle. Smart play here. Doesn't need to be super tucked in, but look at the HP. That's got to be one. Yes. And now the second. Surely Pit well played. And I can't. You said it. The economy wasn't great for Diffuse, and it's not great now. Panatek's going to take away two of them, and they're going to re-aggress as well. You can see the push-up now coming towards Long as a response. But there is Pit here waiting, and the crossfire is becoming exceedingly strong. Yeah, I mean, to see a team 7-2 up and on Guardians on their buy round is odd, to say the least. Mixwell going to find Roden in long. Pit now actually tucks himself in. And there you go. We'll swing on to trade that kill through. Logan, the last man standing, the clutch master himself, 1v4. What do you got left? Zeke going to go unchecked up on top. He will shut that down before he even gets going. Now look at this. An instant rotate off A. All five members of G2 anticipating this B hit coming through, and it's all five members of Defuse stacked up here. Logan somehow found Mixwell. Uh, I'm kind of curious how that happened. Now, I'm wondering if they keep committing to this. Paditech's found Akuma right back in. This is just messy. Now, what is Paditech up to? Going for a walkabout towards Huka? Did he not believe? Takas gonna send a little message with love there towards Ardis and it is a trade out in the end but here we go still 2v2 here as Zeke, Zeke did find alive. Logan Zeke oh my god and Pit on the swing yeah no how deep G2 are playing yeah they are sitting super deep very hard to clear corners there they are and the amount of time left on this really isn't a great deal. Roden's going to spot out one. He actually connects well towards Mixwell, but the trade comes in. You saw that position very much in place. Akuma's going to find the trade back through. This is all trading effectively, but look at the time. They ain't got much of it left. They have to take Showers control. It's way too open the plan. Hoppy can try and hold off on short, but Showers is still an issue. They've got to sit this defuse. They cannot get off the defuse. Hmm. Um, clear a little space for them as well. Okay. I think they, they spot the one Long. underneath her. Don't know if they did, and now they've got all the information. They've lost that second prong of the attack that was hoping to come through on Long. Do they get to spot this raise? Have a little spin towards it? Yes, they do. Great work from Paditek. Very good intuition. Purely off the calls and knowing the positioning. And now Logan, let's try and play this back through, and you can see it. G2 are refusing to relent at this point. Hoppy joining with him. Molly. Clearing corners for free. That Molly would force anyone out. So that's one off the checklist. This post plant isn't easy. And look at that kind of around the world from Mixwell. Just going to get that timing so perfect. Oh, this isolates Logan and Hoppy now. Feeling so alone here. Outnumbered. Outgunned. Interesting one. Do they try and fight now or just play for post plant? It looks like potentially post is what they're opting for. That's a very wide peak, road, and That is pretty bold. Okay. Uh, yeah, Zeke's Boombot just managed to get all the way across site and find Hoppy. So we first blood in favor of G2. A few couple of ultimates to play with here. Roden actually going to find Zeke with the shock dart. Well, that flash is perfect as well. It's going to keep Mixer on posted, but he doesn't go check. He's go oh my god, Akuma still wins that. No I way. I don't know how. This is so messy. Logan's found one. Trade right back in on time is now dwindling. We're down to a 1v1. Takas up against Paditek, and he's got it to halfway. No he's way. Not, he's not stopping. Oh my god, he's not stopped. 
That's the tilter. They're holding. They are waiting. And now there's the flash. They swing on it. They get nothing. Okay. Akuma dies. Zeke's there. Rodan quickly trades. Have they uncovered the second player? Now they do. Takas shows his hand from Hookah, but great shots from Pit. Pit's trying to do some damage, but Takas is better. ATHP still stands. He's waiting on support. Hoppy's right there, but he's been heard. Steps noted. He's got a Guardian, but he still finds it. And now the trade comes out again in a 1v2 for Pat. Left to try and deal with uncompromising angles. No time. This is going to be double digits on the board, surely. He's going to try and get away and try and save this weapon, but it's double digits for Diffuse, and I'm pretty sure it's a weird... Double digits against them. The economy is now broken. Oh, this man. is an absolute pinch happening, but Hoppy's low. This is dangerous still. Zeke's found two out of nowhere. That's massive, but Akuma straight through on the TP. He's answered right back. They're going to fight them, and they're oh God. The pivot off that. Akuma comes straight through the TP, sends the Rolling Thunder. He's going to split those two players up in showers. And Taka Takas still holding this short push. Takas, this could be huge. He waits for him to pass slightly. The spray is good enough to find at least kind of the setup on the second. Paddy takes good for two, but these are effective trades still for Diffuse. Roden readjusts this position. It's disgraceful. Look at it. Does Pitt realize? <gasps> no, he doesn't. They've got no idea. The spike's now going to be picked up by Pat, but he's given away nothing. This is perfect. Patience! Oh Roden! Good for one, but not the second, but it's all been seen. A 2v1 for Pitt. He would have to go to an unseen level here. Going to go through the TP Wayne on the other side will be the killjoy. And there is no dancing to get you out of this one, Logan. The grin. Going the distance with G2 on the decider. After that first map, it's still not over yet. But it might be soon. Akuma and Takas just absolutely did it to him. They're just pouring it in. Oh, another. Pit's gone. They're down to two. We are on the verge of G2 going out and not making it to Masters and a rise of Diffuse. I cannot believe this. Akuma now holds back showers. No one's coming through. Palitech a mile away from feeling like he even started this round. And the massacre began at the very second this round started. And now we wait as it feels like the inevitable begins to unfold and I'm sure the silence is going to fall on their Discord as Akuma, he wants in, he's creeping closer, he takes it! The man is so bold and Palitay's dead! And so are G2's hopes!